What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Dago Soul. Back at y'all with another outlet pickup. Now, today's video was super unexpected. As you guys might know, this past weekend was friends and family at the Nike stores, Nike outlets, etc. So, people got that extra 30% off that they could use on top of whatever sales they had on. Thank God. So, I was like, honestly, you're getting a really good deal out here. Like, you're gonna, you're gonna come up on something. You're gonna finesse something this weekend, no matter what. So, I went uh, Saturday at close. So, I went Saturday morning. Um, and no, fr I'm sorry, I went Friday morning. Friday morning I went, uh, as soon as they opened, nothing. Like, there was nothing there for me at all. Kind of disappointed. Walked off like 30 minutes trying to find something. Trying to scrounge out something. Maybe I missed something. Nothing was there. So, fast forward to Sunday. My boy's like, hey, I want to go before work. You down? I was like, yeah, I'm down. So, went Sunday morning. If you guys have ever gone outlet shopping or outlet hunting, you have to get there right when they open. That's when the best stuff is there. Now, granted, they might bring stuff out later in the day. But your best chance of coming up on something crazy is right when they open. So this guy kind of got the time schedule messed up. Uh, he thought that they opened an hour later than they actually did. So we got there an hour late. I got there, looked around. I was like, there is nothing here, man. Once again, take another L. I wasn't mad, though, because at the end of the day, I was like, look, if I don't buy anything, I save money. So that's a win-win for me. Pushed around for a while. Couldn't really find much. And then when I had happened to walk back to an aisle, now somebody had to have got these shoes, changed their mind, or they might have just been brought right out after I like left the aisle. But there was two pairs of Air Force One duck boots just chilling on the shelf next to each other. And I was like, yo, it's my time to shine. I proceed to walk over there. I pick up these shoes. Now the thing is in my head, when I think of rain boots, when I think of like utility boots or whatever you want to call them for outdoor wear, I was like, these are going to be heavy as hell. So I go to pick up the black pair and it like flew up. Like these joints are super duper light, man. And then next to those were these beautiful olive joints. And I was like, yo, I'm about to lose my mind, man. For as long as I've been in the shoes, I've seen Nike Duck boots and they're really popular. Um, majority of the time on the East Coast or back down South, as far as the West Coast goes, it's they're not really popping out here like that. I've kind of always been interested in them, but I've never been one to really want to pay like 180 for a pair of them after tax and everything because it doesn't rain that much in California. It really doesn't. So for me to have those, it would kind of be like, you know, a waste of a shoe and a waste of money to be real. You know what I mean? As I buy Timberland. So, I mean, that's kind of one thing. I buy Timberland. So I was like, I don't need any of this shit. It's dope. They're dope. They're really dope shoes. But I was like, I, I don't really need them unless I come across them for a really good price. And that's exactly what happens. I say it doesn't rain in California. As y'all hear, the rain pouring. And as it's been like pouring down all day, it's been... It's been a relaxing day. It's my day off, so I'm in here just enjoying the rain. But, like, it's funny because I said that yesterday when I got them. I was like, it's never going to rain that much in California. I don't need Nike Air Force One duck boots. What the fuck's the point? And then today, life was like, yeah, you made that good decision by another yesterday, Playboy. Boom, bam, man. These right here, I got from Absolute Steel, y'all. I ended up paying $85.97 for both pairs after all the discounts and also the little gift card I had. So I was like, yo. I got two pairs of Air Force One duck boots for the price, for the half of the price of one at retail, being that retail is 165 plus tax. So I was like, yo, I, I just finessed a little bit and I feel good about myself. Normally, if you go there an hour late, you have to hope that somebody who's shopping there will put down a pair and you'll come up. Other than that, you're kind of just waiting for hopefully they bring some premiums or something out of the back that they were just waiting to put out. That's your only luck. You might linger around a little bit, but I got lucky and I'm happy. So, <clears throat> Let's get into them real quick. So both of these shoes, they do have that um, waterproof upper. You have this really nice leather on the back portion. Um, and I like because they're all solid color. The black pair is actually the most solid because you see that's black all over. Even the eyelids are black. Um, the LF1 on the tongue is silver. That's the only different uh, shade of anything on there. As well as a little waterproof logo right there. On the green pair, you do, on the green pair you do have silver eyelids as well as the same silver I left one on the tongue. So a little bit more color contrast on the green pair. And then both pairs do have, like I said earlier, the, earlier that really lightweight and that really comfortable lunar midsole, which is very dope. And those are gonna be on the solid uh, base color of each shoe, so black and olive green. And both pairs also both don those gum outsoles. And gum outsoles to me are beautiful, man. This, this on a shoe will make or break for me. There's a lot of times where a shoe will be okay and you put a gum bottom on them, and it's like, yo, that's a straight, a beautiful ass shoe right there just because of that um you do have nike air on the back heel tabs of both of these shoes i like because they're a lightweight shoe the thing is when you think of rain boots you think of something that's clunky unfashionable and even times uncomfortable because of you know the way they're made they're made to protect your feet from the cold and the wet so they're not really going to be all that comfortable 
these are the opposite. And in my head, like I said, I don't really wear rain boots, so in my head, that's kind of how I, you know, imagined them. But I'm really happy I got these because, for one, the Air Force Ones, y'all know, your boy love himself some Air Force Ones, but also the fact that they're very comfortable. These are very nice on feet. I tried them on in the store, and that was make or break. I was like, look, they're a dope shoe, great price, but they're uncomfortable. No matter how much of a steal it is, I'm leaving them. Tried them, tried them on, done deal. Walked out, had them. Didn't, couldn't, couldn't put these on. But yeah, man, so these are my newest pickup from the Nike outlet. I'm very, very happy, man. I was worried I was going to get away from this weekend and not pick up anything. Um, and everyone else who I knew that went into the finesse and some stuff, come out with some really good stuff, and I was like, man, the consumer in me really wants to win, too, but also the other part of me, the frugal side, like, yo, bro, save your money, go home with me. But anyway, um, yeah, there we go, guys. That is just my really quick review on these. I'm going to give you guys an on the feet. It's actually raining like crazy now, so... Would be the perfect time, but I'm not trying to get my camera equipment wet, so I'll probably, you know, wait till it dries off. Or maybe in another video, I'll have them on, and I'll show you guys them all feet. But for today, I just want to give you guys a really quick look and my opinion on these beautiful joints right here, man. Um, they are still available on like Nike.com, so you can get them at retail. I know after watching a video like this, y'all probably like, yo, like, I can't imagine paying retail. You just got them for a steal. But just in case you did like these guys, they are on Nike.com for $165. Um, yeah, so that's just the end of it, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video as usual. Um, I'm about to find somewhere to put these in this damn shoe jungle I have here. And uh, yeah, man, once again, thank you guys for watching. I love the support, man. Uh, let me know down in the comments. Did you guys go out to an outlet? Did you guys pick up anything? Um, if you did, what'd you get? How'd you feel about the weekend? Was your local factory store outlet, you know, hit or miss? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Also, let me know what you guys think about these guys. Did you like them? Are you a fan of them? Would you cop? Would you not? Let me know down in the comment section below. But as always, until next time, it's your boy Dago Soul, and I am out. Peace.